What's going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here with our OTC Saturday video. Uh, we're going to go over about uh, seven or eight stocks today, a couple of them very quickly, uh, nothing really in depth, uh, most of them we talked about before. Uh, first one we're going to st uh, start talking about today is Magic Wheels. Um, this is one, um, but we're going to go right to the chart first. This thing has performed phenomenally. We actually, uh, again, uh, called this out right here at about uh, a little over a penny and a third. And uh, we have just uh, watched this thing go parabolic. Um, I mean, as we can see, I mean, just one pullback here from about uh, set the sevens to the fives, a little below the fives. Other than that, I mean, you can see some, some red days, some, some significant pullbacks on these uh, wicks of these candles. Um, if I can zoom in a little here, um, you can see this is about right where we called it out on that Thursday, the first green day. This was uh, Friday, which would 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 really in significance give us the first OTC first green day. And as you can see how it reacts following that, uh, we do get a pullback and a nice consolidation and buying right here around five, and then psh, that's it. That's all she wrote. This thing took off. And um, Magic Wheels, we're still waiting. Uh, as we can see, um, the volume uh, doing very well here, uh, 26 million in volume. Um, we are pink current, uh, waiting. Uh, now the, uh, the deal with uh, CGCX was consummated uh, with the crypto exchange. Now we're just waiting on other acquisitions um, and some other big news. Uh, again, I keep on saying, would I be chasing this thing up here? Uh, last time I said that, it was uh, in the low 20s, on uh, the high teens. So um, th this thing just keeps on going. So uh, the, one of the most solid plays of the year so far. Uh, very proud of this call and uh, love this play still going forward. I don't think it's done. Um, we're going to move to another stock. Uh, this one is Marketing Worldwide Corp. Uh, both of these, these next two, uh, what, this play was uh, called out by uh, Matt Riv over on our West Coast Closer on uh, Twitter. Uh, you got to give this guy a follow. He's been on fire lately. Uh, this is one that uh, most of us who had TD Ameritrade couldn't buy. Um, there was a restriction on it. And uh, you can see when that restriction came off, look what happened here. This thing just took off. Um, I would implore you to do some research, go on their website. Um, this is a speculative play. Um, as you can see, they still have the stop sign. Um, the security details, um, I'm hearing it's low float. Uh, looks to be uh, that we have no idea what this share structure is. So I would say play, proceed with caution. Uh, this one has moved. Uh, I do like this play as a speculative play. Um, but again, um, this thing is up significantly, uh, in fact, up 93%. It was up over 100% um, on Friday throughout the day. And this thing, you know, obviously a little bit of a pullback, but it closed up 93%. So um, would take a position in here. I, I took a position right around 70 uh, and a little bit in the 60s. Um, it's hard to catch on the open. This thing does trade like it's a, a rather thin a little bit. So... Um, like I said, I, I do want to see these share, uh, share structure. I want to find out. I want to get some filings in, and then I'd feel real confident uh, the way this is playing out because this this company here is in, uh, from what their website says, in the uh, fintech, um, AI, uh, I mean, just uh, crypto, all kinds of things. So um, we got to see if it's all talk and not, uh, you know, uh, if, if it's action and not all talk. But uh you know, like what I'm seeing here from MWWC. Uh, again, this is a speculation play. Really like it going forward. One of the plays we called out a couple weeks ago, uh, NWGC. Uh, this thing's up significantly. It was in the 60s when we called it out. It uh, closed just a shade under a penny, up 73%. Uh, they had just uh, procured a, uh, a plot of land in Wyoming. So um, this thing could run. Um, do like the share structure on NWGC. It's got three billion authorized shares. Uh, not much room for dilution if they were to dilute, but uh, I, I don't. Doesn't look like they're doing that right now at all. And uh, looks like about two and a quarter billion unrestricted. So uh, the float says one point six billion, but that was you have to keep in mind that was uh, 
updated on June 30th, 2015, quite some time ago. These are a lot more accurate. Um, if it is this, then good for us. But uh, I take I always take the unrestricted as the number uh, that we're working with as far as the float. I, I, I very little, uh, very rarely look at the float as a uh, as an accurate number. But I do like NWGC, definitely one you want to keep an eye on going into next week. Um, now we're going to go to one of my favorites here, uh, APTY. Again, uh, guys, like I said, with uh, NWGC and N MWWC, uh, we still have the stop sign here. We're waiting on filings. Good thing is, um, I think a lot of people misunderstood the rules. Um, the OTC markets, they uh, basically laid it out to where you had to have your application in. Your, applica your application had to be in and paid for by the uh, 30th of June um, in order to uh, guarantee that your application and filings would be uh, considered and looked at by the deadline. So, um, you know, a lot of these companies are in absolutely no danger of uh, going dark or, or, or getting pulled from the market. So uh, I'm not overly concerned about a lot of these things, seeing these stop signs right now. As long as the company's active, uh, as long as they're, uh, you know, basically interacting with the shareholders um, and, and they're, they're making moves to get this stop sign removed uh, before the deadline, then I'm, then I'm, you know, happy with that as long as the company's making progress. APTY had an excellent week, very strong. Uh, if you look here, uh, basically had a pullback right here where it shook a lot of people out down to about 118, 117, right down to about here. And after that, it was clear sailing. Uh, this thing uh, broke, uh, got in new territories, broke new highs. So uh, now we're into, uh, you know, kind of blue skies here uh, for the year. So um, uh, APT, uh, APTY looking good. Uh, any filings drop? Um, any updates on this spare coin that we talked about and i do implore you if you want to uh, get a little more take a take a look at my video on apty uh go on their website uh go read the spare coin white paper uh you'll get a lot of information on these guys um but really do like apty going forward now one that i really like and i find really interesting is sports quest inc spqs uh these guys if we take a look here at the company profile, they have the same address as Intuit and also the same CEO, Jeffrey Burns. Um, there was email confirmation that uh, Jeffrey Burns was um, looking to merge Intuit into SPQS, into his ticker, to let it to, to bring it public. Now, Intuit is a company, uh, we will be doing a video on this. Um, this week, uh, just to give you a little more information on it. But uh, uh, long story short, these guys are into um, into wireless connectivity. Uh, they do business with uh, a lot of reputable major corporations, um, and they're also into smart cities. So uh, you know how uh, we feel about that going forward with this Biden infrastructure plan. So SPQS, take a look out for the video sometime next week. But I would definitely be uh, keeping a close eye on this one. It's got a very good share structure. Um, let's take a look at it really quickly. Uh, they do have the $5 billion authorized, but uh, a lot of restricted shares. Um, so if you look at the unrestricted, it, it looks like uh, there's only about a billion and a half and held at the DTC, and this was uh, verified on July 2nd, only 7.29 million shares. So this is a this is kind of a low floater here. Uh, you know, obviously, um, I, I want to see some filing, see, you know, obviously when some of these shares become uh, unrestricted. But uh, for the time being, uh, this thing can really get going. Um, if this merger and some filings drop, uh, or if, let's go in the right order. If these filings drop, we can get this stop sign removed and get this uh, into it. And I would go to their web. And you believe we'll have it all in the uh, video on these guys. I don't want to give too much here, but uh, we'll, we'll have it uh, sometime early next week after the holiday. But uh, definitely keep an eye on SPQS. Uh, this is a speculative play, but one uh, I took a position in. Uh, I actually took a position in a while back and um, shaved most of it on its run and um, got rid of it, the rest of it on the way down and now I'm back in. So uh, I think this is the time where SPQS uh, kind of makes this move. Um, 
another stock. This is one uh, we talked about. This is one of my favorites. This is my very favorite custodian ship play. The only custo that I own right now. And this is King Resources, KRFG. Um, we spoke on this uh, on the last video, uh, why I like uh, King Railroads. I don't know if it was the last video or the video before that, why I like King Resources. Uh, this thing closed on Friday at 0 .01441, uh, kind of low volume. Um, if we look here, only at about uh, 14 and a half million volume, which is not bad. Uh, we could take a look here at the chart. Uh, very strong chart. A um, lot of consolidation here. We're going to zoom in just a little bit here. And you can see uh, this is right where I took my position right around here before this gap up uh, in the 60s and uh, it was a bit of a high 60s 65 66 um, I ended up catching it right here in the 70s and then I actually took some more right here in the 140s uh, this is a uh, Karen Cullen plays she's the one uh, she is the uh, one who ushered in the Eyeless International um, and Firebug merger uh, with Nis Nicholas Link um, this thing has a good share structure the chart is phenomenal I mean just look at this this chart look at this consolidation in fact let's take a look here and this is where you see strength in a chart is every time this thing pushes down it gets gobbled right back up as far as these bottom wicks you can see every time this thing tries to take a dip it gets gobbled up every time all in this entire run so uh, this thing is showing phenomenal strength um, we can take a look here at the share structure. Let's go to the security details. And uh, KRFG uh, has an excellent, excellent uh, share structure here. Uh, as you can see, um, on July 2nd, uh, 700 million held at the DTC, under well under a billion float here, uh, under 700 million float, in fact. Uh, so this thing, um, if we get the right merger in here, and again, with the... Uh, the NOLs that this company does possess. Um, it's a very valuable shell. And um, I, I, once this merger comes in, I, I mean, we're already paying current. Something's got to be brewing. Um, I could see this one trading closer to 10 than uh, one. So uh, really like KRFG. It's the only, uh, the only uh, custodian ship that I own right now. And now we will move on to our Okay, uh, keep on messing up here. There we go. RGBP, Regen Biopharma. Now you can also take the preferred shares, RGBPP. Uh, it has a, le a better share structure. Um, but uh, RGBP, I took a position on, uh, I've been watching this for a while. I took a position on Friday. Uh, this thing had a great day up 50% on Friday, uh, had great news. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at the share structure. Um, not the greatest of share structures, but it's it, it's decent. It, it can move. This thing ran uh, all the way up to about $0.08 cents not too long ago. Uh, if we take a look here at the chart, the uh, chart looks pretty good here. Um, this thing ran all the way up to... Uh, what is it? Eight, eight, nineteen was the high. Uh, did pull back. Uh, we had this gap to fill. This is one of the one of the better trades I've made uh, as far as a day trade. Waiting for this gap to fill. The uh, caught him caught him at two and got rid of some uh, right around uh, about three and a half. So that was a heck of a trade. Almost a hundred percent on that one. Seventy five percent on that trade. But uh, if you take a look at the chart here, very strong green candle. Um, high volume um not not compared to when it had its major run but uh this news came out late in the day and uh, we're going to take a look here uh regen biopharma they put out a, a, a form 8k uh and this 8k uh states that uh kcl therapeutics a wholly owned subsidiary of regen biopharma was informed by the united states patent and trademark office the patent protection shall be granted to KCL with regard to methods and means operating IL-17 associated with um, anti-tumor effector cells by inhibitor of NR2F6 inhibitor. Um, they got a patent, and uh, this is an inhibitor of uh, cancer cells. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to be a doctor, um, so I'm not going to get into uh, the true... 
the meaning of what this stuff does or anything. Uh, so I'm not even going to pretend to do that. But uh, when they get a patent to fight cancer, that's good. And when this thing ran to eight cents, this was on speculation. Now we do have, we do have this. Now the the patent came out late Friday, so um, I would anticipate a very strong Monday and RGBP. Um, you know, watch your entries. Obviously, this thing could gap up and get a little bit, get a little wild. Um, I would definitely expect by the end of the week this thing traded in at least the fours, maybe the fives. Uh, I see at least 100% this week from RGBP. Very strong week in my opinion uh, going forward. And um, but uh, that's really all I got on it. I'm not a doctor, so I really can't get into uh, the significance of this patent. But uh, but this is what they were basically waiting for, and. Um, and I think the stock moves uh, very, very strong next week. And now we'll go to our last play, and this is Cyberlux Corporation. We've talked about this a few times. Absolutely love this play. Um, basically closed flat on Friday uh, on about 90 million in volume. Still a decent, still strong volume. Uh, if you take a look at this chart, this chart is absolutely fabulous. Uh, we are basically forming a symmetrical triangle right here on the chart, ready for some news. They said they will have updates next week um, on the share structure. They should have uh, some, I would imagine, some updates on filings and uh, going current, possibly some uh, new contracts or some new things that they've got going on. So really like CYBL going forward. This is absolutely one of my favorite plays uh, at a half a penny. I think this is an absolute steal. Um, they said they're working on this share structure to significantly lower these authorized shares. And when they say significantly, I don't know how much. Um, the outstanding shares was already lowered. It just uh, has not reflected yet on OTC markets. Uh, there will be 700 million shares taken out of the outstanding. Um, so uh, that, that helps obviously here. Um, and uh, they said they will be lowering it further. So uh, looking forward to a lot of big things from this company um, with the Biden infrastructure plan. These guys already have their foot in the door with the uh, Department of Defense, the Army, the Air Force, uh, several other government agencies, uh, at, uh, home and abroad, um, big corporations. So um, they've already got their foot in the door with this money, uh, tax money pouring out to a lot of these companies. Um, who's going to put up the lights and who's going to who's going to shine the lights on every highway, train, bridge uh, across the country uh, when they're getting work done at night. I think it's uh, Cyberlux got a good chance of getting these contracts on top of night vision, different patents and other products that they're rolling out. Um, this one could be big, folks. I really like Cyberlux. Um, Again, we, we don't we don't ever want to get too overexcited about stocks. This one might take a little bit of time, um, but uh, I really think uh, this thing uh, we we could be seeing three, four, five cents uh, sometime late, you know, sometime mid to late summer with this Cyberlux here, uh, if all goes well with this. So uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, as always, uh, please like. Please share. Please subscribe. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Uh, be safe out there. Um, and uh, we will have another video uh, either Sunday or Monday. Uh, looking forward to next week. So, uh, you know, enjoy your holiday. And uh, as always, traders, let's get that money.